Hello, this is Mika J one and here's my lead allen battery. I finally made one. Um, so, I have two plates in here. This one's positive over here, this one's negative. Um, they are made from this solder right here, and it is 590 degree Fahrenheit solder. That's the melting point. And it is 1.5% silver. So, what I did with this, sil this solder is I put it on the um, on a piece of metal and then hammered it out real flat and I then tacked the pieces together with the soldering iron but I didn't use I don't want to use this solder for soldering circuit boards because it's too high it's slightly too it takes too long to melt because it's too high of temperature um, so I decided to use it for this project instead but this plate here is grayish colored and this one over here when you first when I first put the battery together it was gold colored and now it's kind of a grayish brown um, but yeah so the alum I just poured alum in there till I probably put about a teaspoon in there I'd guess um, I just kept putting alum in till till none more would dissolve um, but there's a little bit of crystals in the bottom there still so um, so yeah I'm really amazed at how much power this can actually put out. It's my best battery ever, especially that it's rechargeable. Um, but I am charging it on 2.5 volts from this power supply here. Um, and it seems to hold the charge quite a long time, too. And it stand, the um, when you take it off and just let it sit, uh, the voltage goes down to, I mean, after it's charged, the charge voltage is 1.4 volts, pretty much exactly. Um, and the maximum current is about 100 milliamps, so that's really actually pretty good. Um, so right now I have it hooked up, it's charging, so I'm going to turn, well, unhook it. This is the power supply, so that's the power supply unhooked, I'll just turn it off. So it's, the voltage is dropping now. Put it on there. So that's the voltage. And now we can short it out, so we'll uncut unconnect that and put it on milliamps and, you know 200 milliamp setting and I will short it out so there you see 100 and six five three two one ninety nine milliamps so and it's staying there quite a long time and it seems as though the more I charge it up and discharge it the better it gets because when I first built it um, I charged it up for about a little while and then um, discharge it and I'd get maybe 40 milliamps but now it's up to a hundred so it seems to keep getting better um, the more I charge and discharge it which I'm quite amazed most batteries do the opposite but so the voltage is now down to 1.3 so now I'll just connect up the up a jewel thief just to show you that it can run a jewel thief and here's a different jewel thief they both work at the same time too. And as you can see the voltage just dropped down a bit there. And it will run the jewel thief for about 20 minutes. Um, but I also hooked it up to my XY plotter. Actually this plot right here is actually this fluorescent light bulb warming up and this one. So this fluorescent light bulb here as you can see it well, this one, th this is the one in the desk lamp. You turn on, and it puts out a spike of light there, and then it goes down a little bit, and as it warms up, it increases light output, and then as it gets even hotter, it seems to decrease. So, I just, this, this other line here is just to reference off of. But, these are the two graphs of the battery. So, right here, I disconnected it from the power supply, so that's 2.5 volts. It drops down, and this is from here to here. It's about 17 minutes. Um, so then it comes back over here, and right here I c it's at 1.6 volts. So it's not. I could have let it sit longer, and it probably would have dropped down a little bit more. Um, but I connected up the 62 ohm resistor load, and it dropped down. And right there, it's 16.5 milliamps at 1.1 volts. And it goes down here. It takes about 17 minutes for it to drop down. And yeah, so that's pretty good. And I think this one right here, I, and I charged this one up for about half an hour when I did this test with the red there. And then this blue right here, 
I charged it up for, I think it was five minutes, and then I can connect it up to the same load. So I let it sit for a minute, and then I connected up the load, and it dropped down pretty quick. It went right down to there. So the longer you charge it, it seems to build up the coating on there much faster. And this one was my first one. It's not so good. Lots of junk on there. Um, but yeah, so it seems to be performing very well. Um, as you can see, it's still running the jewel piece just fine, and the voltage has dropped a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you have some spare lead laying around, I would definitely recommend building one of these. And it seems to work quite well that I uh, hammered it out into a flat sheet and then tacked it together. Um, it seems to um, work quite well. So yeah, thanks for watching.